I want the crazy head. Ah. What? Yo, everybody, it is Rock the Great, superstar artist, creator of Goose Faba, this guy right here, toy hunter extraordinaire, and I found this Hulk for five dollars. I know it's a little late, I'm probably the latest guy to do a review of this, but it doesn't matter, I got him today on my toy hunt for five bucks. Believe it or not, he is gonna be my only Hulk Hogan figure other than NWO Hogan, because I grew up in the 90s, and my Hogan was NWO WCW Hogan. This Hogan, obviously, you know he's an icon in these classic outfits. Are you guys collecting ultimates? This is not the only ultimate I found for five bucks. I got Batista, I got Mr. T, I think I got another one. I'm, I am have my eye on the Roman and the Jeff Hardy. Those, I gotta get those clearance though. So here's a tray shot. Hulkamania is running wild, brother. And then, well let me tell you something, Mean Gene. Oh, I need that new Mean Gene, dude. I need Mean Gene. It's easier just to take a look at the accessories from here. But we have, first of all, I love the skin color. He was so orange and fake tan in the 80s that it's finally about time that we got like a, I love it, I love it though. Orange hands with the open up, like he's like listening to the crowd. He's got the finger pointing. Well, let me tell you something, Mean Gene. And then he's got the fist hands, and then on him he has the holding hands. What I like to see from Ultimates, if you've watched any of my videos, there should be at least three heads. So three heads, check. There's got to be a belt and some sort of cloth good shirt, check, check, and lots of hands. By my standards, this is hitting every mark. I'm very ex mark, haha. <laughs> and then he also has the uh, cross necklace, which I count that as an accessory. Alright, so in hand, this figure is beautiful, and I just noticed... I think this headband is an accessory, yes! So, okay, this guy is stacked. I'm sure they're gonna be making Hogan's until the end of time. And I picked the right backdrop today, so I'm excited about that. Now, let's take a look at the articulation, then we could look at all his fun accessories, put the shirt on him, and all that kind of stuff. So, butterfly joints, which is amazing. I love butterfly joints. It's like a must on me to have fun with a figure. Uh, he has his headband. So, I think you could probably put the, yeah, you could put the headband on the other faces. We'll, we'll look at his other heads on him as well. He has the chain, which you could take off if you'd like. He's got the double jointed elbows. So he's got nice head articulation. Everything's looking good so far. The abs are great on that. Yep. He's got the waist swivel. And then he's got the good ball joints, I think. Yeah, these ones won't break. I hate those skinny ones that they have on Undertaker and Kane. Like, they need to do different legs. Little hindrance from the knee pads. He's got that McDonald's look right now with the ketchup and mustard. The toe articulation is always always a treat. He's a, my guy's a little stuck. You could tell the plastic is not the best that they're using But just a lot of fun man. This guy just looks great. He just flat out looks great but Let's see how the guy how he looks with the belt. Here we go. Let's put the belt on him uh, It looks like you're really gonna have a sh you're gonna have to stretch the belt because it is kind of flat in the front so you're really gonna have to like pull it to kind of get it to click on. Now, is this the NWA belt? Cause it says WWE, but I'm pretty sure this isn't the WWE belt. Let me know on that. I know a lot of you 80s guys, old school wrestling fan. You in here right now? Leave a comment. I like it though, it looks great. He looks good on him. Let's see the shirt though. Let's see the shirt because this is the iconic cloth shirt. And which is funny, look, he has the rips on the back, the cuts on the back. And then, you know, because he's always ripping his shirt, it rips down the middle, which is just such a fun little detail. And, oh, look, with the butterfly joints, you can get the shirt on him real easy. Now, it, it's not the best uh, lineup right there. Let's put the cross over it, too. My dude's very religious. I want the crazy head. Ah! You okay, guys? Hey, leave a comment and a like right now if you're okay. Let me know, okay? Sorry about that. All right, there you go. A lot of people... We're not liking this head, uh, and I, I like it, man. He made those crazy faces. Let's get these hands off. Look at that. He looks crazy. I'm coming for you, sucker. So what do you guys think? What are you guys thinking? Um, let's see, you know what? Let's actually have him ripping the shirt open, hold on. All right, dude, that is beautiful. That is, I love the ultimate figures. I freaking love them. Let's put him next to the Hollywood Hogan. He's much tanner here in a different way. He was more a uh, brown natural tan during the WCW days. Last but not least, here he is with a six inch 
Goose Faba action figure from System Island Toys. Which ones do you have? Which ones are you hunting for? Let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you're subscribed, hit that like button, and I will see you guys in the next toy hunt. Brother!